think he's going to G6. From what I heard. That'd be nice. Yeah, I remember back when he was in the beginning when he was playing a bit of Meta Knight, that too was really nice. His neutral is carrying, not carrying him, but he, his neutral allowed him to get so many wins and so many conversions. Yeah. Man, he, inspiration, man. Inspiration indeed comes from even the youngest of hearts. Now we got a Zen Nico, the first and second of Hat last week, running it back only in winner's semi, so. One of these two is going to make it to winner's finals. Yeah, I but mean, one of these two actually just wants to be in winner's finals, right? One step closer to victory. Mm -hmm. I don't know Zenyu out here just finally trying to get a tournament into his hands, and Nico really out here defending the eight winning from all the Mario mains. So many. Not so many, but so good. Yeah. yeah that's quite a statement to make against, like, Zenyu. Look at that upper he got earlier, right? He's already looking to finish it off. Switching into Smash Art. Nice, uh, kind of yeah. forcing him to be in shield, man, and he definitely went after him. The cat's gonna jump with a down tilt. Deceptively large. Right back there, gonna poke him out of there. Only 30%, not too much. He's not letting Zenyu get in and hit him as I say that. He goes into shield. Up tilt. I kind of, I do and don't understand it. I don't know if he, that was, might have been a miss input of Monado Art. Alright, no chair and up tilt. Down throw, couple up airs, gets the up beat, solid sweet spot. Just cashing out the damage. So is the sour spot of the coins the purple coins? No, I'm so sorry. That's, that's that was gonna say solid sour spot. I think the sweet spot, if I'm not mistaken, the sweet spot of Mario's up beat is the coins, and you see Cappy when he gets the sweet spot. That explains it, because I I would just up beat to see if Cappy would come out, but it would only came out when I hit Okay, that all yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah. now. It's the sweet spot. My apologies. Thank you so much for helping me out. Right yeah, that's there. it. Hey man, you taught me too. Alright, well, Nico, 137, looking to teach us how to fight Mario here with Shulk. Yeah, he's just throwing out these hitboxes, making sure that Zenyu can't hit him, because that's that's what Zenyu does best. Once he hits you, he, he yeah. hits you. But it's also important to know, is like, now that he's in Buster Art, right, he does extra shield damage. That's the thing to notice, too. So he's doing a little bit more pressure on Zenyu as well. Zenyu gets the back throw. Nico landing in with side B. I like that Zenyu kind of respected that, and he spaced himself. For looking to get Nico's comeback on the stage. Well read. Yeah, look for the two frame on the down tilt, just swipe him. With a quick uh quick uh, boosted fair or fair F tilt. Dash tag, dash tag. That was dash tag? Yeah. Oh. I was wrong. He he read Zenyu coming back towards the ledge because he, he didn't want to get like he didn't want to get juggled from up tilt or, or up air. So then you save option there was to try to come back to the ledge, but Nico was definitely a little keen to catch that. That's fair. I've never actually seen Shulk do a dash attack before. <laughs> it, it, it's like it's like pretty bad. It's like one of the bad moves alongside down smash. Down smash still pretty bad. Oh yeah, not game, but now dash attack is pretty, pretty decent for Shulk. Is any trying to apply the same thing he did to a uh, Nico whenever he went into shield? He would just try to continue his combos. Order and I can get the hop. Trying to feel out Zenyu and see what he's going to do at the ledge. And Zenyu coming back here. 50% to his name. We definitely know that having a lead against Zenyu is super crucial. And Zenyu gets sent off the stage. Shulk into Smash Art. Oh, going. Going deep for it. Back here. Ooh. Wow, that killed. I don't know if that was suspect EI or that was just early enough to kill. I want to say it was early enough to kill, man. Smash Art has some strength to it. In this nice. Game. It is, Not something course, you want to get hit by. Yeah, def for sure, dude. It is definitely, without a doubt, the Hyper Monado version of the art as seen in Smash 4 Customs. Alright, well, next game coming up for both players. We'll see how that'll play. Mm, still Nico looking really well. Like I was saying early, he was just making sure to space himself so Mario couldn't hit him, and that was uh, one of the struggles that Mario does have. He might have a lot of commons and a lot of... Once he hits you, you can't stop getting hit. <laughs> yeah, but, the juggles. Yeah, but once you can space him out with a nice sword, and a nice safe aerial that's really hard for Mario to get in. So you just have to keep throwing yourself at it until it works. But the downside with that is you take a lot of percent. Yeah. Alright, O'Neal up B's out of shield. Go moving on with back air into neutral air. I like how he's, like, one of those things, like I said, right? Walling out, like you said, you have a disjoint of the sword, so you are able to wall out Mario effectively pretty well. It's, I like how he switched the speed art, though, getting stuck in up tilts. I felt like he was trying to go for, no reason to go for shield yet. As I say, though, he was going to chill there. <laughs> oh, kind of gets cut by the fireball. Nico taking his time to make the recovery. Goes for the high options. And you on the prowl, though, but now back at the edge phase. 
Going deep. Up B. Oh, oh yeah. that was great. Uh, he had not oh. done that in the last few games around Mario's. Like, he didn't do that at all with Master Mario. He has done that with Zenyu. So, kind of keeping that play for the last second just to get the stock. Mm -hmm. Super crucial to have a lead against Zenyu. Super crucial to take the stock first as soon as possible. And Nico's really has been Ooh. understanding that. So close. I like it from Zenyu. He just kind of pulls himself back. Also, the spacing on Zenyu when he sees Nico landing, I feel like he's kind of getting used to Nico landing with um, Backslash. So that's how I've been seeing him spacing himself pretty well, just to avoid getting hit by Backslash. Mm -hmm. Quick forward throw, get him off the stage. Okay, smash art. Nico kind of playing it safe. Does he get the up air? No. Unfortunately, just a little too far off. Up air, a lot of range vertically, but horizontally, you really have to be on top of them to hit that. Yeah. Uh, Shulk's pattern in kill combo, no, not much of a thing anymore. It's more of a... Nico told me it was more of a 50-50. The, uh, the Amad or the 2 4 is what they called it. Or the Purge. Yeah, the Purge. Popular name was the Purge, but other names included the Amad or the 2 for 8 named after the player. <laughs> the, aren't both of those named after the player? Yeah, it was That's named fun. after SM's ori original tag, 2 4 8 Super, Super yeah. Mario 2 4 8 and then SM's real name, Amad. I didn't know it was called the Amad. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. The story is something that I want Nico to tell you guys. We'll see if we get the interview, of course, with Hat. I'm already calling it. <laughs> oh, I mean, man, I'm, I'm, I, I, wanna, I don't want to be biased. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm too much of a Nico fan, but I'm definitely liking what Zenyu's doing now. He's kind of yeah. playing a little more patience around Nico. Yeah, even after that SD, it doesn't, it doesn't even look like it happened. Yeah. I always tell people, you got to shake it off, man. It's it's not over, right? The, stick, the controller's in your hands. You still have a way to come back. And I think a lot of people with their problem was, was when you SD'd in Smash 4, was like you only have two stocks, so it's so it's, so, it's, daunting, it's so disheartening. But now you have three stocks, so one SD is just, all right, I messed up. I just need to outplay him a little bit and bring it back to even. Well, pummels into far throw, gets the <laughs> plot. I like it from Zenyu because he was waiting to see how Nico was going to land, and he was looking for a punish. But Nico kind of keeping himself at the ledge. Nico trying to poke around Zenyu. With these tilts. Misses the grab there. I kind of wanted to see him just probably space himself a little bit more for a different kind of tilt. Up tilt, perhaps. Mm. Or forward tilt. Oh, finding, finding the up B throughout that down air. Alright, gonna take it right there. Catching him uh, going for the flood. You're just gonna run right through that. Up air. Nice. All trying to go for another one to keep him up there. Fortunately, Nico unsafely spacing something and now he's allowed Zenyu a way in. Empty hop into forward air. Now Nico switching out to Buster Art. It's gonna do extra percent there, but not extra knockback. It's putting it's putting Zenyu into a little bit more death percent, but he's able to finally land and get a small quick combo on his way back to stage. Uh, that uh that jab unfortunately in Buster it's not a good jab at all. Yeah. It just does not hit. It's negative I believe on hit too. Okay, and he goes running out of smash art. Oh no. That's yeah, I was gonna say that might not do it actually. If he got another upper, that definitely would have been it. So Nico gonna count his lucky it's, stars. It's so deceptive too because when you're so high up in the ceiling, you so, you see the critical hit, but you're not sure if it killed yet. Mm -hmm. Then a lot of people definitely worried about back then when Mario would hit two or one or two coins and you would just die immediately. Oh that four tilt yeah. so safe. That's Baseball. what I wanted to yeah, the, the batter swing, yeah. yeah. The baseball forward tilt is what we call it. Nico swings for the, for the home run hit. Yeah. Able to get it 2-0 over Zenyu. Nico looking to get keen on winner's finals. Hit again at Hollywood Action Tuesdays. Nico back in action compared to his placement over at MSM this past week. This week. How did he do at MSM? Um, oh, I remember. Yeah, he lost. Didn't do so high. Uh, he went for home stream. Nico streamers, by the way, guys, definitely go ahead and give him a follow. I want to give a, I want to give a shout out to the stream as well. Uh, two scoops underscore Nico. That's a pretty nice emote. <laughs> it's a pretty nice emote according to Nico's patented catchphrase. <laughs> so definitely check him out. He always likes to talk about stuff in general and give a little bit of shulk advice. All right, we're well, coming out into game three. Nico's opportunity here to move on in the winners' finals. Zenyu's possible last chance to start making a fight. I mean, he's been fighting, man, but he hasn't been able to put a point on the board just yet. Yeah. 
Mm. Like we said, Zenyu does have so much percent, but it's just the fact of closing it out against Nico. Once Nico goes back into his turtling phase of just, I don't want to get hit in all his defense, it's so hard for Zenyu to hit him, as we're noticing. Oh, I was so close. I thought he, he was going to get pineapple. Yeah, dude, he went really low. But I'm not going to lie with Jump Bar, you get so much elevated height. <gasps> Okay, I felt the forward smash, but he got dash attack instead, and of course... I feel like he might have wanted a forward smash, but yeah. just did it a little too fast. Sometimes people get too excited for the punish. That pressure on the shield, man. Nico's so strong. I'm not gonna lie, just not giving up knowing that, hey man, if you're gonna really hold shield and not do anything after, and I'm spacing these aerials, it's gonna be hard for you to catch me. Up B, out of shield, gets in you towards the ledge, but not putting him in the ledge phase just yet. I'm trying to swing him up, swing him away from them with these forward tilts. I like it. Maybe not, might not kill, but it's a pretty safe option and honestly keeps yourself space. Able to just walk away from the nail, but on the landing, Xenu gets the up smash. Then you're not, not going to get a, not going to drop that. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I guess, you know, he was trying to avoid getting up beat from Nico the way he's been doing that up out of shield a lot, so I kind of respect it. Yeah, that, was just, that was just funny to look at. Bit of fear, uh, scare tactics. Both players staying just patient, not none of them really budging on the offense or the defense. Left fly, just pushing Nico that away from the ledge, dude. That was so, that was so good. It, it always it, seems questionable too, right? But it, like you said, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nico, solid pressure here. Oh, oh man, the footstool. <laughs> Footstools are really interesting in this game because it's harder to footstool people because you can't just do it next to them. You really have to be above them. Yeah. But then the other funny thing is you get iframes for it. I, I don't know when it will be effective or like something that comes in handy, but it's what they did. Some kind of footstool combo where like, you know, I don't know, yeah. I don't know how many iframes you get for footstool. You get four frames of iframes. It would be effective in, a, in some kind of footstool combo. I don't know which one, but hopefully she can get some kind of footstool combos because she needs right. something. And the best part is, uh, even if it's a phantom footstool, you still get the frames. That's pretty good. Okay, well, Nico now finally able to push it out against Zenyu. I mean, bringing it pretty even. Zenyu started off really strong. Not going to get the second hit of, of B. Nico really spacing, uh, spacing himself so Zenyu can't grab him again. It's like that. He just knows right when Zenyu's going to want to grab him. He just always does it with the fair, so he's just right out of the range. And even if it misses somehow, he's not going to get punished for it. Not only that, the way he was kind of like empty hopping for a minute, too, kind of keeps the guessing game going. Man, this is such a strong start, but back throw will take it, Zenyu. Tech in place, man. Yeah. Spacing out himself away from Zenyu. I like it. Nico just trying to keen to play the spacing game if he has to. Zenyu though, he, one thing that Zenyu hasn't been doing that I like, see, I was going to say, he hasn't been going for fireballs, and I kind of see the thing is that Nico's kind of shut down that game plan for Zenyu so that he's forced to change it. Mm. Can't go for fireball follow ups if your opponent's really in your face. Yeah, and with Shulk, Shulk's long hitbox, like these fairs that you see him uh, spacing himself out with, it'll get rid of the fair and still have that active hitbox yeah. that'll hit Zenyu. Whereas a lot of characters, once you throw that fair out, it's hard for you to, it's hard for them to deal with because projectile is just so good in this game. Upbeat. Oh, oh wait, 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 what do you mean that okay. kill? I'm just going to say upbeat, just not going to kill yet, but I, I was, I, I've I been wrong. I saw it, but I just didn't want to believe it just yet, because I've been... Like, I, oh my god. I've been mistaken. I mean, yeah. Nico, why are you moving? You got to win his finals, man. 